Is it an alien ship, a comet? Scientists and researchers are left puzzled. Many people are talking about NASA's government shutdown happening right as 3I Atlas flew past Mars. It's bad timing, to put it mildly. But what many people miss is the much stranger silence coming from the China National Space Administration. The supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. They had a front row seat with their advanced orbiter. We're not just talking about a data delay. We're talking about a complete information lockdown. Now, whispers of a data leak are getting louder. This isn't about China trying to one-up the U.S. This is about them finding something so shocking, so world-altering, that it scared them into silence. When the world stopped talking, for three days after the interstellar object 3I Atlas passed by Mars, the world's space agencies remained eerily silent. There were no new images, no press briefings, and absolutely no data releases. NASA cited the ongoing government shutdown, which conveniently began just 48 hours before the flyby. The European Space Agency vaguely stated that observations were still being processed. But you see, the most unusual silence came from China. Its Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter has released more than 14,000 images since 2021, often within days of capture. Yet this time, there was nothing. Not a single word from the China National Space Administration, no mention in state media, and no public acknowledgement that the encounter even happened. In a moment that should have been a global showcase, it became a void. What many overlooked is just how incredible this opportunity was. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, ESA's Mars Express, the UAE's Hope Probe, and China's Tianwen-1 were all perfectly positioned to capture an interstellar visitor's close approach to another planet. A setup like that is unlikely to happen again for centuries, but instead of a flood of data, we got a coordinated, echoing silence from every major spacefaring nation. NASA's excuse, at least, has a paper trail. But bureaucracy can't explain the silence from others. The thing nobody tells you is that China's space program is a political symbol. When the United States falters, China usually steps forward to fill the silence with spectacle. Their choice to stay quiet this time doesn't just break precedent. It reshapes the entire story. It implies the data itself might be politically or scientifically explosive. And 3I Atlas gives plenty of reasons for discomfort. Long before its Mars encounter, astronomers cataloged a list of anomalies that no natural explanation comfortably fits. The object's carbon dioxide to water ratio is around 8 to 1, a massive deviation that challenges our models of how comets form. Its spectrum shows tons of nickel without the matching iron, an elemental imbalance that just shouldn't exist even though it's actively outgassing, it shows almost no non-gravitational acceleration. This means the jets of vapor escaping its surface aren't pushing it off course like they should. It's like firing a rocket engine that produces no thrust. Then there's its bizarre trajectory, threading improbably close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Statistical models suggest this path has less than a 0.005% chance of occurring naturally. It's a whole different ballgame. To make things even stranger, observations point to an unusually high mass, up to five orders of magnitude greater than other known interstellar objects of its size. Its surface polarization, the way it scatters sunlight, is unlike any comet or asteroid ever studied. Add to that a total lack of diatomic carbon emissions, the chemical signature that defines most comets, and a calculated age between 7 and 14 billion years. That makes it potentially as old as the universe itself. To put it mildly, 3I Atlas looks less like a random rock and more like an intentional survivor of deep time. A recent analysis circulating among top researchers put those numbers into a powerful statistical model. The result was jaw-dropping. It favored an artificial origin over a natural one by a factor of 10 to the 28th power. The real question isn't whether 3I Atlas could be artificial. It's why the people who have the data refuse to show it. The silence itself hints that the answer is far from simple. What Tianwen-1 really saw. While the world's official channels were dark, the Whisper Network was buzzing. You see, in an age of total surveillance, true secrets are hard to keep. The first crack in the wall of silence didn't come from a press conference, 
but from a scrambled data packet uploaded to a private server in Hong Kong. This was the beginning of the alleged Beijing leak. It wasn't a flood of information, but a trickle. A handful of heavily compressed image files, lines of raw telemetry, and a short, encrypted text file. Independent analysts working in the shadows began piecing it together. What they found was the reason for the global silence. It was far more terrifying than anyone could have guessed. The first image was low resolution, but it was enough. It did not show an irregular, potato-shaped comet. Instead, it showed a perfectly symmetrical, hexagonal object, almost like a massive snowflake forged from metal and rock. It was dark, non-reflective, and seemed to absorb the light around it. The surface wasn't pockmarked with craters, but covered in a complex, repeating pattern of geometric lines, like the circuits on a microchip the size of a mountain. At the end of the day, this was no rock. This was a machine. That's just the tip of the iceberg. The telemetry data was even more shocking. Tianwen-1's instruments had detected brief, intense thermal blooms on the object's surface. These weren't random gas jets. They were appearing in a specific controlled sequence, flashing in a pattern that repeated every 137 seconds. What many people miss is that China didn't just see this object, they tried to interact with it. The leaked notes suggest the China National Space Administration sent a powerful, focused radio signal from their orbiter toward 3I Atlas. It was a simple pulse, a basic hello in the language of mathematics. The response they got back is what truly sealed the object's fate as a global secret. 3I Atlas didn't send a signal back. Instead, its thermal bloom stopped. The light polarization of its surface changed in an instant, shifting from absorbing light to reflecting it, becoming as bright as a star for a fraction of a second. It was a defensive reaction, a clear, unmistakable message. We see you and stay back. This wasn't a passive piece of debris, it was aware. And now, the world's most powerful governments knew it. The leaked data showed that 3I Atlas wasn't a single object at all. It was a tightly packed swarm of thousands of smaller, independent hexagonal probes flying in a perfect, massive formation. This explained the impossible mass-to-brightness ratio. They weren't seeing one object, they were seeing a fleet. And that fleet was broadcasting a signal, but it wasn't meant for us. What the probe is saying. The Beijing leak contained one last file, the most critical piece of the puzzle. It was a spectrographic analysis of a faint, repeating signal emanating from the core of the 3I Atlas swarm. It wasn't radio. It was a modulated neutrino burst, a form of communication so advanced we can barely detect it, let alone create it. Here's the kicker. For weeks, a small group of astrophysicists had been working to decode this ghost signal. The message they uncovered is the terrifying secret at the heart of this entire event. It wasn't a greeting. It wasn't a map. It was a warning. The decoded message was simple, stark, and repeated in a loop. It is coming. Silence the harvest. Avoid the light. This changed everything. This wasn't a first contact scenario. This was an automated buoy, a billion-year-old warning sign floating in the dark. The harvest and the light are, of course, open to interpretation. But the leading theory among those who have seen the leak is bone-chilling. The light could refer to a star going nova, or something far more sinister, a wave of energy, or even a civilization that moves through the galaxy, harvesting solar systems. The probe is a relic, a leftover from a long-vanished civilization that faced this threat and sent out these silent warnings across the cosmos. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the implications. The probe isn't the scary part. The scary part is what it's running from. This explains the coordinated global silence. Announcing the existence of a probe is one thing. Announcing that it carries a message of impending, incomprehensible doom is another. The writing was on the wall. The probe's strange composition, the nickel without iron, might be the result of it being constructed from the debris of a solar system destroyed by this light. Its incredible age means this has been happening for eons. The probe's defensive reaction to China's signal wasn't aggression. It was a pre-programmed response to stay hidden. 
It's designed to observe, record, and warn, but not to engage. It's a silent observer, a ghost carrying a terrible secret. What many people miss is the most terrifying detail in the leaked analysis. The probe is dying. Its power source is failing, and its neutrino signal is getting weaker. It's a decaying piece of technology. This suggests that its automated systems might be breaking down. The warning it carries might be the last fading echo of a galactic tragedy. And it has just drifted right through our backyard, telling us that something far worse is on its way. The only question left is, why are they hiding a warning? The New World Order The decision to hide the 3 I Atlas message wasn't made by scientists. It was made by politicians and military leaders in panicked, secret meetings. You see, the thing is, you can't just tell 7 billion people that a cosmic threat is coming. The revelation would shatter everything. Religions, economies, and social structures would collapse overnight. It would trigger mass panic on a scale never before seen. So they made an unthinkable choice. To say nothing. To let humanity live in blissful ignorance while they try to figure out what to do. This is the real reason for the silence. It's not a scientific puzzle. It's a global security crisis. China, having made the discovery, was in the driver's seat. But they quickly realized that this information was too big for any one nation to control. Announcing it would make them a global pariah. So, through back channels, they shared the core findings with the United States and other major powers. For the first time in history, the world's greatest adversaries were forced into a secret alliance, united by a shared, terrifying secret. The NASA shutdown became the perfect cover story for the U.S., while other agencies used vague excuses. Behind the scenes, a new world order was being forged in the shadows, one based not on competition, but on a desperate, shared sense of survival. But every conspiracy has its cracks. The Beijing leak, likely the work of a scientist who believed humanity had the right to know, was the first one. Of course, there are those who claim the leak is elaborate disinformation. Perhaps it's a Chinese psychological operation designed to cause chaos in the West, but the data, the telemetry, and the images are too consistent with the object's known anomalies. It fits too perfectly. The choice to hide the warning also reveals a dark truth about power. Governments might believe they are protecting us from panic, but they are also preserving their own control. The harvest could be centuries away, or millennia. In the meantime, this knowledge becomes the ultimate weapon. Any nation that could decipher the probe's technology or understand the coming threat, would have an unimaginable advantage over all others. The silence isn't just about preventing panic, it's about a new, secret arms race. A race to understand the warning and, if possible, to survive what's coming. At the end of the day, they chose control over truth. But the probe is now gone, leaving behind only its chilling echo, a legacy of fear. As 3 I Atlas drifts outward, Receding back into the cold, quiet dark, it leaves humanity in a strange and precarious position. Officially, it was just a curious comet. NASA's shutdown ended, and a few low-quality, inconclusive images were eventually released, showing nothing but a fuzzy point of light. The European Space Agency published a paper on its unusual composition, calling it a scientific mystery but nothing more. China never mentioned it again. The story was officially buried under layers of bureaucracy and scientific jargon. The Beijing leak was dismissed as a hoax, and the analysts who worked on it have gone silent. The world moved on. But for those who have seen the data, the silence is no longer empty. It's filled with the echo of that ghostly warning. It is coming. Avoid the light. The world continues as it always has but with a new, unspoken fear hanging over the heads of a powerful few. They now know that humanity might not be alone, but that the first credible message from the stars was not one of hope, but of dread. They are now the keepers of a terrifying secret, looking at the sky not with wonder, but with apprehension. It's a legacy of fear that will be passed down in secret for generations. The probe itself is now beyond our reach, a fading ghost heading back to interstellar space. It has done its job. It has delivered its billion-year-old message. Whether that message is a true warning, a misunderstanding of advanced physics, 
or something else entirely. We may never know for sure. The official story is that 3i Atlas was a natural anomaly, but we must now wrestle with the possibility that the greatest discovery in human history was immediately and intentionally hidden from us all. If our leaders knew of an unavoidable threat, do we have the right to know, even if it causes global panic? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe for more.